and welcome to your goal market update for today thursday the 21st of july 2022 with mike smith senior analyst at goal markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news today well overnight we saw the u.s market show continued strength on earnings optimism with broad based gains across the board we're now seeing indices at five week highs and are testing key levels both on the nasdaq and the s p 500. us futures are mildly negative in asia however and as a result asian indices are looking fairly flat asx is near neutral and european futures are suggesting a mildly lower open all is suggesting that after the last few days of up moves perhaps the market's just taken a little pause in light of some of the data that's out later today and more earnings due of course the us dollar index recovered slightly yesterday and bounced off the two weeks lows it hit the day before it is neutral in asia as fx markets look generally flat today gold however has broken that 1700 level we've been talking about for the last few days at 14 month lows it is nearing support around that 200 ema on the weekly chart at 1675 it's trading about ten dollars above that at this stage oil is trading in a tight range with a failure to break 110 after that bounce off hundred dollars so not much movement since yesterday and the vix has breached the 200 ema to the downside it's below 25 which is the first time for one month and copper has paused at that important 330 level we've talked about for the last couple of days after the bounce that we saw earlier in the week bitcoin moved through resistance yesterday to 23,000, which was one month highs but has paused during the back end of yesterday and really isn't moving at all in asia which suggests that maybe the buying pressure is done for now and of course we've got a significant day both in terms of earnings and with data with earnings we've got at&t freeport dhi snap domino's pizzas and mattel all reporting amongst many others we've got the boj press conference uh the ecb interest rate decision and press conference later on today and then to finish off, we've got US weekly jobs and manufacturing data being the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, the highlights of tonight's data. Lots for the markets to digest today, which may be why it's just paused a little bit, as well as maybe a little bit of profit taking on the last few days. There's still an element of caution in the way markets are behaving at the minute. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today. So we're going to start in the ASX, and we've been talking about the resurgence of lithium stocks and pls is a good example of that you can see it's breached its 200 ema to the upside high volume moves over the last few days to take it up to this level but this 254 looks important and a potential move higher possibly back towards three dollars which would be a significant return in excess of 15 percent perhaps in the fx market we said things were pretty flat the canadian dollar yen looks interesting however we did pause yesterday and so this line here that you see at 106.78 represents highs not seen since 2014. So a move back over this high from a couple of days at 107.35 looks as though it may be on the cards. We've tested it the last three sessions. If we just look at a short term chart, you can see how much it's been tested. So what we may do is we may look for a breach of the highs that we hit yesterday twice and have hit already in asia this morning at 107.52 any move above that would suggest we are continuing to move higher on this particular pair trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now